How's it going everyone? Sandy's 5 here bringing you another Dragon Ball Super manga video today. And we finally have the summary and spoilers for chapter 84. No spoiler images this time because I believe DPS Chronicles got in trouble on Twitter for that. So do not expect those for a while. But we have some very interesting revelations in this chapter. Especially at the very end involving gas. And we're going to see some really uh, badass action from... Ultra Insta Goku and Ultra Iga Vegeta. That's right, I said it. We're gonna see that. But first, if you're not ready, hit the like button for this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell whenever I upload new videos like this. Talk about, of course, Dragon Ball. Of course, I'm gonna give you guys about like five seconds before you cl click off of the video before we can resume. So I'm gonna give you time. All right, there we go. So courtesy to as always, TV is hyped this time, and Mugiwawa for the translation. So. Very, very, very interesting stuff going on here. So let's get down to it. So chapter 84 is called uh, Pride of the Warrior Race, obviously referring to the Saiyans. Uh, this first page basically summarizes what happens in the rough draft pages, so we'll go over that again. Omeo says the voice recorded that was in the scouter has ended. Goku is very surprised with everything he has heard from his father. Moneto says Bardock left Plant Syria as soon as he could move again, but left his scouter behind. Goku manages to remember some of the things he lived when he lit, was in the liquid tank as a baby. In those memories, we see how Bardock arrived wounded at his house from Planet Serial, and then we see how he left Planet Vegeta for other missions. Alright, so it was some time, it wasn't immediately after us, but some people thought. Also, Goku has memories of his mother in her everyday life, which is very cute, by the way. And Goku also remembers the moment when his parents took him out of the tank and sent him out of Planet Vegeta in a ship. Goku tells Vegeta that he finally understands Saiyan's pride, but on the other hand, when Goku remembered his father's face, he, he also remembered how he lacked faith in his own power. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't think we got, I don't think we got that in the initial translations of the spoilers, so very interesting to note. Vegeta tells him that he too had lost sight of it. what is important, what they need to preserve is not the Saiyan sins but it's saying pride. Vegeta is angry because it was Goku's father who had to remind him that. Who had to remind him that, sorry. Goku laughs. Vegeta adds that he doesn't think it's fair how Goku and Rad survive things to the Dragon Balls. Goku tells him that it's not his fault that Bark made that wish. Vegeta tells Goku that thanks to that wish he has been spoiled too much. Goku tells him that Vegeta also spoils about completely different by the way I may act so completely different as Vegeta agrees right here Vegeta angrily says that is totally different Monaito is happy to see Bardock's will has been passed to Goku and Vegeta he says too that race's pride is not for revenge it's for accept one's true self and it is the same for all races Monaito offers to heal them both before gas arrives but before that he changes their clothes for seeing armor like Bardock's. However, Goku and Vegeta are not comfortable with those armors. They prefer their normal clothes. So, unfortunately, I'm going to spoil this a little bit ahead, but uh, do not get too comfortable with that. Go Gas arrives at Planet Syria and lands in front of Manito's house. He tells the Saiyans to get out. So, this is actually really quick. I didn't think it would be that quick, but no, we're going straight to the battle uh, right away. Oil is watching the house in the forest and sees Gas arrival. He informs about it to elect and Maki. Alex says they'll get close with the ship, but not very close because it's dangerous. Alright, so we're here. Alright. Oil approaches Gas and asks how he is. Gas tells him that he already wasted too much time. Gas asks Oil to tell Alec that battle will be over soon. Oil leaves telling Gas that he will wait for him with the delicious rice that he is going to prepare. Goku and Vegeta leave the house. They are fully recovered and they are wearing new normal clothes. So do not get comfortable with the Saiyan armor. That was fairly quick and easy. So unfortunately we do not get to see him fight in Saiyan armor but oh well. Gas tells them that he thought they'd have run away. Goku asks him to leave the planet. Goku always does before he beats someone up. Gas says they will do it when he kills both of them. Vegeta says he wants to kill Gas at all costs and asks Goku what he plans to do. Goku answers he also wants to defeat Gas. Vegeta says 
then they have no choice but to fight together. Then they prepare to fight Goku. I will be the one to defeat him first. Vegeta says, no, I'll do it. Goku activates the perfect Ultra Instinct and Vegeta, I'm Vegeta the, and Vegeta the Ultra Ego. Uh, yeah. So uh, actually, there's no perfect Ultra Ego, I, I believe. So I just wonder how um, there might be any further Ela elaboration on um, Ultra Ego, but we'll see about that. Elect Oil and Maki see everything from afar from the ship. Oil explains the transformation to Maki, but Maki tells him that she doesn't care about the names. She just wants to know if they are strong. Oil tells her Goku and Vegeta are strong. Gas tells Goku and Vegeta they are stupid because they don't understand that he's at a level they won't be able to reach. A uh, little spelling error there. Uh, because right there because but yeah uh goku tells him that he is the one who doesn't understand anything vegeta tells gas that it doesn't matter if they win or lose the important thing is they want to win goku and vegeta attacks gas goku tries to punch gas and vegeta tries to kick him but gas stops both attacks with his arms goku now tries to kick him but gas dodges the attacks vegeta then tries to punch gas but he dodges it as well Goku continues attacking Gas, but he dodges all attacks. Vegeta jumps and tries to hit Gas while Goku holds him back. But Gas dodges both of them, and Vegeta hits the ground. Goku and Vegeta keeps attacking him. Gas puts his blows without problems, but he looks a bit pressured. Gas starts a punch from Vegeta and makes Vegeta hit himself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gas then kicks Goku. Alright, we're in the home stretch, guys. One more time. Goku and Vegeta get up quickly and attack Gas at the same time. Gas barely stops the attack. Gas uses a very huge key pass. Goku and Vegeta dodges it and uses a Kamehameha and a Gallic Ho against Gas. Gas teleports behind them and hits Vegeta with the mace he creates with his powers. Then he tries to hit Goku with the mace, but Goku dodges it. Gas gets tired, drops the mace, and kicks Goku in the stomach. Gas steps. Oh, Gas steps on Goku's chest on the ground. He is sick of them. Vegeta creates a big key ball and tells Goku to leave the area where Go Gas is. The ball is a technique of the God Destruction. Ooh, all right. Uh, if Goku touches the ball, he could disappear. All right, we we've seen this before. Uh, Goku does have Hakai abilities too. We just haven't seen him since the Future Trunks the Master arc. So. I'm pretty sure he knows that already. Goku sees the gas that gas is being distracted by Vegeta and teleports. Vegeta fires the key ball and tells Gas to stop it if he really is the most powerful warrior in the universe. Gas creates a shield with which stops the key ball. Goku appears next to Vegeta and helps him to push the key ball. Gas shields disintegrates. So a little bit of recreation of the final battle with Majin Buu there. Alec is a bit worried seeing those new transformations. Hmm, this is the first time we actually see him not as so cocky, so interesting. But it confirms that they use those transformations against Granola 2. Alex says everything is fine then since he made the wish after Goku and Vegeta lost to Granola. Alec also says Gas is the universe... Ah, sorry. Alec also says Gas, Gas's universe is different from Granola's. Maki is confused to what he's talking about. Elect of replies, just watch. So, very interesting revelation here. So, Gas might be from another universe. So, Elect does know about the other universes. So, this is a pretty interesting revelation. So, now we have to ask that is Gas a natural member of the Heaters? Is Gas adopted? We're going to have to find out. There's a lot of speculation out going off from that statement. Gas starts to return key ball to Vegeta and Goku. He is pushing key ball without touching it. Just when the bot is about to reach them, Vegeta walks away and leaves Goku alone trying to stop the key ball. Vegeta, you you selfish prick. Vegeta goes for gas, but gas stops it and Vegeta hits several times in the stomach. Oh, hit hits Vegeta several times in the stomach. Gas wonders if they are crazy thinking they can beat him. Then gas prepares to finish it off Vegeta. Goku matches to deflect the key ball towards the sky just before it reaches the city, and then goes to help Vegeta. Alright, so saving this, um, 
a city that's actually nice for Silkruna, and I guess the Cerulean's don't, not Cerulean's, um, the Sugarians don't lose their home. Vegeta manages to punch Gas hard in the face. Gas wonders what kind of technique is he using, how he manages to move despite his injuries. Vegeta then responds, the damage he did to me is like my fuel. In other words, I'm getting stronger. And that is the end of the chapter. So, I think the biggest revelation, of course, is uh, we're finding out that Gas might be from another universe, but also we don't know if Elect made a move where he wishes that he would be the strongest in a different universe where he's stronger than that universe's strongest warrior and therefore is leaps and bounds stronger than anyone from universe 7 or he just says make gas strongest and that's where he came from from that universe whichever that one is and they might have already strong warriors and he might just recruit them from there and made them the strongest there so they're probably more stronger than anyone from, from universe 7 if you follow my logic but obviously we don't know where they came from so very interesting to know a lot of revelations revealed i just cannot wait to read the chapter and see the artwork and how it goes anyways guys uh, tell me down in the comments down below what do you think of the chapter what was the biggest revelation for you and are you hyped to see the battle scene especially with goku and vegeta going on force with Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego against Gas. But we don't know which universe he's from yet, so interesting to know. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. This is the end of the video right here. Be sure to hit the like button for this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell whenever I upload new videos like this. Talk about, of course, Dragon Ball. This is Saiyan Survive signing out. I'll see you guys later. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.